Many Canadians know how difficult it can be to afford prescription drugs. For one Ontario man, the decision came down to providing for his family or protecting his own health. His story is fueling calls for universal drug coverage in Canada. Shirley Engel reports advocates say such a program would actually save our health care system millions. Imagine having to choose between keeping a roof over your head or dying. Kevin Connell found himself in that situation three years ago when he was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer. The life-saving drug the 62-year-old needs costs $120,000 a year. Where was I going to get $10,000 a month? Is it right to put my family out on the street for me so that I can live a few more months? It's only because the drug company covers his giant bills that he's alive today. Kevin's provincial plan was no help. He would have to be 65 years of age and have applied uh, two months before your 65th birthday. Uh, as if cancer uh, knows what age to attack at. The unaffordability of drugs in Canada is an epidemic, says this physician. Every doctor and almost every clinic that you'll go to will have a story of, uh, of a patient who they've prescribed medication for, but because they don't have coverage, they're not able to, to pay for it. Just 44% of prescriptions are covered by provinces. A recent C.D. Howe study found a national plan would save Canadians up to $14 billion a year. But if you provide people basically free drugs for medicines that we know are of value to mo for money to the healthcare system, it pays for itself by reducing the burden on the hospitals and doctor's offices because people don't come back. But pharmacare is complex. Delivery falls under provincial jurisdiction while funding is federal. The organization representing provinces and territories says talks have stalled in the past, so premiers are focusing on getting the prices of all drugs down. We've actually had success in pricing and delivered millions and millions of dollars in savings to drug plans and ultimately to patients. The new health minister, Rana Ambrose, told Global News she's interested in working with them on bulk buying to help save even more. I've been able to attend a wedding, been able to see my first grandson. Kevin Connell says just making drugs cheaper isn't the answer. That unless governments subsidize pharmaceuticals for the less fortunate, others yeah. will still end up in his predicament or worse. Shirley Engel, Global News, Ottawa.